this fall, I forgot to put my cold frame on one of our raised beds and I forgot to lay out the black plastic on the other bed. So I thought we'd talk about that a little bit today and you can watch me try and rake snow off the beds and put the plastic down now that it's the middle of winter. So what do you think? I think it's backwards. Yeah, it's a little back. I was really busy this fall, you know, so you know, you can't do everything. All right, so let's, let's go over here and take a look. So these are our garden beds and I've managed to rake off most of the snow but they're, you know, they're frozen solid. So I'm taking off the snow, or as much of the snow as I can. That was really efficient. I'm pretty good at this. I'm pretty good at raking snow off my garden beds. The idea with the black plastic is that it will keep the soil, it will help the soil heat up in the late winter and spring because it's a black material it absorbs more sunlight than snow does because snow is actually an insulator and it reflects light so the idea being that then you can plant earlier like your tomatoes can go in a lot earlier because the soil's a lot warmer there's a lot of really great information in elliot coleman's book the four season harvest he talks about you know he lives in maine and he manages to grow stuff in the middle of winter. I know grow is maybe not the right word, but he gets stuff going in the fall and then he harvests it through the winter using these big hoop houses he makes and he also makes these nice wooden cold frames. Um, his cold frames are really nicely built. I'm not a master carpenter, but we do build a hoop house cold frame every fall, except this fall I forgot to put it on in time. So we're not going to put it on. <laughs> But as you remember in previous years, we do have our little plastic hoop house and we have a video about how to make one of those, how to make your portable cold frame. Can I see how light it is in there? Nice. Is this before or after you eat Christmas dinner? Uh, this is before Christmas dinner. We already had our Christmas breakfast, so I need some exercise. Yeah, you're working up a sweat here. Are you going to put rocks or something on it to hold it down, or is the snow going to hold it down? No, I'm going to put rocks along the edge here. We have a lot of rocks, so. By the way, this is a really thin plastic. You want, if you can get like a, a five or six mil plastic, that's a lot better. This is pretty thin, but this is all the hardware store had, so. But you can reuse this every year. The thicker stuff lasts longer. So ideally, you would do this in the fall. You, your, your vegetables here are done. You've pulled them out. I would I put down a time-release organic fertilizer, like a pelletized fertilizer on here. And then I lay the plastic down, hold it down with rocks, and let it sit for the winter. Um, and then in the spring, when the sun hits, this will warm up a lot faster than the ground will. You know, in other words, if it was just not covered in plastic, it would be colder. These are organic rocks, by the way. Were you good this year? Sir? I was really good this year. I was on my best behavior this year. So we did get, um, we got a family present. We got a really cool cookbook. It's called I Know How to Cook, and it's... I know how to cook. And it's a French cookbook that's been popular in France for like 30 years and they translate it into English. And we're going to talk about that cookbook on Garden Fork Radio this week. If you want to tune into that, we have an audio podcast as well for all the stuff that doesn't make it into a regular Garden Fork video, which you can listen to on our site or on iTunes. This here, it was our lettuce bed uh, this year. And I've let it, I basically, I didn't clean it up. I didn't dig up all the plants. I just let the green sit here. And I wanna see what happens. We got a blanket of snow in this now. And snow is a big insulator. And what I'm thinking is when this thaws out in the early spring, the lettuces and the greens and stuff that are here might start up and start growing again. So it'd be kind of an interesting experiment. I left this kale up here and the kale has been eaten down by the deer, but then there's a little bit of leaf that's popping out. So it's been kind of warm. Kind of an experiment. All right, there you go, a little winter gardening, gardening tip there. In the fall, put down your black plastic and that allows your beds to warm up a lot faster in the spring. 
If you want to learn more about gardening in winter, check out Elliot Coleman's The Four Season Gardener. There's a bunch of stuff that'll grow in the winter or at least get a, a start in the fall and you can harvest in the winter like kale, escarole, spinach, tatsoi, spinach, mm. um, some cabbages. Well, basically, a, a lot of like cabbage-like greens will last through the winter and he's, he writes really well about it. He's got some pretty robust cold frames and stuff. You know, we kind of pale in comparison, but I learned a lot from that book. Yeah, look at our cold frames. Oh, they're missing. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to put the cold frame out. <laughs> All right, check out our, 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 our audio podcast, Garden Fork Radio, as well, which is available on the site. Someone's in the raspberry bed. Excuse me, I have to get a dog out of one of my beds here. <laughs> okay, oh. black plastic works. Get a thick, like a six mil plastic, because you can reuse it more. Um, this is a little thin, so it might get beat up in a couple winters. Hold it down with your organic rocks. And you're set, all right? Make it a great day. Eggnog! Eggnog time. It's time for eggnog. See ya.